guys and welcome back to my channel to everybody who is new year which is most people this is my second video and uh, we're all still getting used to my channel and um, new here so welcome and I hope y'all come along on this beautiful journey of budgeting and just life with us and uh, my name is Cassie and uh, my husband is Perry and today we are going to kind of go over uh, budgeting and the different cash envelopes that I have and what I'm going to be stuffing um, the different categories um, that we're going to be stuffing for so Without further ado, let's jump on into All it. Right. So you can see here, these are my cash stuffing binders, um, which y'all saw in my first video. If you have not, go ahead and go watch that video, which has all of the supplies and everything that I have, um, which is also going to be linked down in the description as well. Um, but these are my cash stuffing binders that I'm going to be using for all of my cash stuffing. Um, so we're going to just kind of start out and go over each one of these one by one. So let's get into it. So this first little one is a mini, it's an A8. Um, little binder and this is going to be in my purse and this is just going to hold um, just the cash stuffing that we need for our um, you know everyday little things or not everyday but the the small things that we use my um, for while we're on the go so firstly this is going to be tobacco um, my for my husband um, and then we have gas, um, spending, this is just going to be for small things, so like when we're out and about, if we uh, see something, like if we go to um, Barnes & Noble, or if we go to Walmart, or Target, or what have you, if there's something that, you know, it, we don't um, have on like our shopping list, or something like that, then this is what this is for. Just a little bit of extra spending money for us to get something that we want, or you know, just to have on while we're out. Groceries, this is gonna be for extra groceries or extra spending for things that we may want at the store. I do um, order our groceries online with Walmart, um, Walmart Plus, or with um, um, delivery. And so I uh, have a lot of our groceries delivered and pay for that through our um, bank accounts. So that t this will just be if we need a little extra incidentals or something from the grocery store. And then eating out, which we are trying to cut back on. So um, this, again, is only going to be filled um, once every two weeks, but we'll probably just eat out. Um, try to keep that at like once per pay period um, so maybe once every couple weeks um, but try to cut back on that as well um, just so we're not spending a lot of money on eating out because currently we definitely do which I know a lot of us can relate to so that is for my purse the next two binders these are um, what I would consider my low priority budgets and um, these two are going to be stuffed as we're able to. Um, we are a, I would consider low income, um, but we do manage to get by. We have a few things that, um, you know, we've, you know, have a credit card, some loans, and um, we have stuff we need to pay off. So that is what we're trying to accomplish. And, and then we have things we want to save for. So these are a lot of things that we need to save for, um, not so much things we need to pay off. Um, so these are starting with my husband's self-care. Um, so he does have a vinyl record player. And so he got that for Christmas. And so this is just going to be for anything that he wants. So if he wants a new game for his PlayStation, if he wants a new game system like the PS5 or a new Xbox or um, anything like that, this is what this is for. Just something for him to save money for him to buy his own um, things, something that he really enjoys. Um, the next one is for me, so um, same same thing but for me, but you know, games that I would like to buy for my Xbox, um, external hard drive, camera equipment, um, new lenses for my camera. The next section is for home goods since we are going to be moving soon, um, which we discussed in the previous video. 
this is going to be for um, furnishing anything that we need in our new home. Um, so like um, a new uh, couch, uh, desks, new bed frame, anything like that is what this is going to be for. Um, NASCAR, <laughs> we do love NASCAR. We go um, to the track wherever we live. So we used to live in Texas and now we're in Arizona. So we used to go to the races every year at Texas Motor Speedway and now we're in Arizona. So we have gone to the races at Phoenix Raceway and that's what this is going to be for, for our yearly tickets. And then this next one is for cruising. Um, so eat, sleep, cruise, and repeat. We are avid cruisers. I would consider myself and my mom anyway. Um, she is the person that I've always cruised with. My husband was introduced to cruising when we got together and he is addicted. So we love cruising. That's our favorite thing to do for vacations. Next one is for Lego. I do have a very large Lego collection already, but um, Lego is always putting out new kits and sets and um, things that I want. So <laughs> instead of just frivolously spending the money, I decided with my husband that we need to, you know, say I need to save for it since I am the one who is addicted to Lego. And so this is going to be for new Lego sets, new, um, any new Lego that comes about. The next section is for Call of Duty. This is going to be for any upgrades that we want to buy or um, store purchases, which do come out pretty often. Um, battle passes uh, for each one of us, since we both do avidly play this, and we play this with some of our best friends back home in Texas. And it is important that we always maintain our Call of Duty. And have some awesome guns and uh, that is something we enjoy. Um, the next two are pretty obvious um, and those are going to be saved for um, so that way we're not just frivolously spending money and throwing money at, at things that we don't need. Um, so we're just going to be saving money to make sure that we're, we're not overspending for those types of things. And we do live in a legal state so that is that. One of my low priorities is our motorcycle. Um, we want to get this paid off much sooner than what it currently is at. Uh, we still owe quite a bit. Um, we have a 2006 uh, Dyna uh, Super Glide, and uh, or I would say my husband has a 2006 Dyna Super Glide because I don't ride it. He does. I can't even lift the thing. Um, electronics. Um, <laughs> we. Uh, we do spend quite a bit of money on electronics and our setups. So um, this is just going to be for actually saving for those things instead of purchasing them with credit and not having debt out there. So we're going to save for our things that we want. If we want to upgrade our computer monitors, um, we want to eventually I have um, we both have laptops but I know we both want to upgrade to desktop computers and so with doing that we want to save so that way we don't have to worry about credit so that's what this is for the next four kind of all go hand in hand at least two and two so we have um, Disneyland and Universal California so both of these uh, is a dream trip for us we've never been either one of us to either location and we really want to go this is something we've both wanted to do for a really long time and it is something that we are planning on doing before and if we ever decide to leave Arizona, this is something that we are wanting to do. So um, this is uh, one of the goals that we want to save to do and one of the trips we want to make. And we know that it's going to be fairly expensive to go to each place um, for the trip. And we'll do both of them at the same time. That's why they're grouped together. And so we have each one to save for tickets, spending, because you know Universal has... Harry Potter and Disney has um, Star Wars 
and <laughs> so we need to do both <laughs> and so that is the goal and then the next one's Disney World and Universal Florida so same thing Harry Potter Star Wars we love them we're big kids at heart we love Disney um, we're 90 kids I 89 but still 90s kids and uh, that that's something that's very near and dear to us the next sections are the savings challenges so I have two savings challenges in here but ultimately I do have four savings challenge envelopes and these two uh, the first two challenges we're gonna do is the um, 52 week challenge and then the other one is going to be for a um, 100 envelope challenge. So uh, instead of doing the 100 envelopes, I'm just doing it in here. And then the 52 weeks, again, just doing it in here. So that way they're in here and uh, with all of our other savings. And then the last one is our subscription. So I do have a couple of yearly subscriptions. And you might hear my mouse moving. And while I'm looking at that, just to kind of go over that, I just do want to apologize for saying uh and um and that a lot because those are two words that are in my diction. Um, and see, I just did it again. And they live there rent free and I need to evict them. But until that happens, I just want to pre-apologize for that. So I do have yearly subscriptions for my Walmart Plus, Barnes & Noble membership, and of course Amazon uh, Amazon Prime. And um, those are the three main uh, yearly subscriptions that we have. Uh, everything else that I have is usually monthly, so I don't really have any other subscriptions. Um, so that's what these are going to be for. So once, so that'll be um, like a set limit, and we'll have another video coming um, next week that is going to be going over my budgeting and how I budget, what I use to budget, and all of that kind of encompass into a video uh, for everybody viewing pleasure. Last but not least is this beautiful little binder. Um, this is the high priority like we really have to focus on. Um, these are the main things we want to focus on saving for and this is uh, going to be like the priority right now. So the first one you see here is moving. Our current apartment lease is up in two months, uh, two and a half months. We are um, up for our lease the end of April and we really don't want to stay in this apartment because we're only in one bedroom. We have one bathroom and it's in our main bedroom and um, I know that I haven't done like a house tour or anything. I probably won't until we move but or if we decide to move but we really need a separate additional bedroom because my mom visits very regularly and she needs her own space and her own little area to sleep in and then um, I do need an office because I'm currently in the living room slash sleep area slash um, you know everything area and that is just not conducive to a work environment so right here where I'm at is my personal PC setup um, I have my laptop I have two monitors and then I have another desk that's this way um, and there's my two work monitors and my work desktop computer and it's just really not a very good work setup and then when my mom comes we're working next to each other which she talks on the phone sometimes and I work on the phones so it doesn't really vibe too well with what we need to do so <laughs> um we really need the extra space for um, both of us to be comfortable when she comes and when I'm working and then also just will help with with kind of managing to keep our areas uncluttered which is definitely something that I am OCD about a little bit and I don't like a lot of stuff all clenched into one space which I know a lot of y'all can relate to that so 
Anyways, moving forward, this is the main thing we're focusing on right now, um, which will be stuff, will be the main thing that gets stuffed every single time we do a video, um, up until uh, we move, which is going to be in April. So, so for the next two months, two and a half months, this will be the main thing getting stuffed. Um, everything else will get something, um, well, certain things will get something, um, and I will probably end up pulling out the specific envelopes to stuff them and then put them back in the binder um, once they are stuffed, because so, not everything right now is going to get stuffed with something until after we move and we're settled in and uh, we can start we can stop saving for moving and then this will get pulled out and uh, I won't have to worry about this uh, unless we decide to move again next year then I'll probably just put it in the back and you know we'll start saving for next year's move or a couple years from now but uh, we may just um, you know do that the next one is car maintenance so this is going to be for um, oil changes so I did just get a Jeep and it do, did come, since it is a newer Jeep, it did come with three, um, a set of three oil changes. And so I uh, do have to purchase another set of oil changes after that. So they said it was roughly about like $170 for three. So that's what this is going to be for. So that way I don't ever have to worry about that. And I can always have that money plus any other additional maintenance that the the Jeep will need um, like when I need to get new tires and all of that other additional fun stuff that comes with owning a vehicle. Uh, cat needs. I do have two cats. Um, I have one named Loki, one named Pepper and I will go ahead and insert a, a little picture of both of them in the video just so y'all can see how adorable they are and this is going to be for like cat food, cat litter, cat toys, cat treats, anything that they need. I do want to work on upgrading them to like a self-serve water, self-serve food, and a like a, um, a kitty litter, um, like a self-scooping thing. Um, I can't think of what it's called right now, but it, it's like a little egg and it like scoops itself. So that way if we do ever have to go out of town for any reason, they're still taken care of without us being here or having a random stranger in our home. So that is what that's going to be for. And then I have um, apartment needs. So this is just going to be for um, filling the house with anything that we need. Paper towels, toilet paper, laundry stuff, um, little tools, nails, um, caulking stuff or um, stuff to fill the walls. Um, putty, paint, anything like that that we would need for um, a home to kind of maintain itself. Batteries, like tons of batteries because we go through batteries. Um, anything like that. So that's what that's for. This one is for obviously emergencies. So this is going to be our emergency fund. We're going to plan to have a minimum of a thousand, but I would like to get like three thousand in here. Uh, my husband to have a car so he does not have a vehicle or he has a motorcycle but he doesn't have a car so that is going to be our second main priority so we have moving is the main and then him getting him a car is a second one because currently he is driving my jeep back and forth to work so that is what this is for and i'm sure he'll be the same way when he gets his new baby so we're going to save up to get him a new car um, my Jeep, this is going to be for um, like my Jeep payments, Jeep mods, um, my insurance comes out of my paychecks, so I don't have to worry about that. Um, and then this is for um, all of that, so anything that comes along with my, um, that I need for my Jeep, that's what this is for. And to get ahead, I would like to pay it off within a year or maybe two years instead of the full note that's on the Jeep. So the next one is rainy day. Oops, there was something on there. So the rainy day is just for the house. So like if anything were to happen um, and we needed to go get something for um, just, you know, a minor setback, that's what this is going to be for. So um, nothing too emergent, but, you know, small things. 
beauty that is going to be for me and my husband so not just specifically me for both of us like haircuts um nails if i want to go get my nails done which i did paint my nails uh, myself so i am a huge harry potter nerd and so they are currently set for good versus evil kind of sort of um i was feeling a little slytherin vibes because i i am a uh, ravenclaw with slytherin tendencies and so that's what my nails are for so this side is the evil this side is the good and so i we have the launch of Hogwarts Legacy in two days and so when that comes out I will be streaming and posting to my channel as well so be on the lookout for those but yeah that's what this is for so nails uh, pedicures for me and my husband haircuts if he wants to go to the barber to get his beard worked on um, anything like that that's what this is for progressive this is um, one of the loans uh, some of the loans that we have that we need to pay off spending again just for any kind of spending that we want to have or anything that um, we want to just randomly buy or save up for that's what this is for self-care this is going to be for us as a couple so if we want to go get massages or go on dates uh, anything like that that's what this is for gifting this is going to be for our family um, and um, of course those friends who we consider family that's what this is for so um birthdays um holidays anything like that except for christmas this is the christmas fund so this is going to be for all of our family that um we buy christmas for and get um to travel for because we do have to travel a little bit for holidays so that's what this is going to be for saving up to be able to buy christmas presents for all of our family and the people who matter most to us lastly is minimum one month ahead um this will eventually change to three months ahead because that's where we would like to be but right now one month ahead is our goal and that's what this is for so we will plan on being one month ahead on every single bill that we possibly have or could have and it'll all go in here and then we'll maintain that and make sure it stays at that and um then if we get over or we get set to that we can always increase it to two months ahead and then i can up update this Alrighty, so that is all of my envelopes i will say <clears throat> that each one of these envelopes in all of my binders except for the tiny a8 binder i did make all of these um labels myself all the vinyl i hand i cut uh, I didn't do it by hand, but I have a Cricut and I cut all of the vinyl myself. Um, all of this vinyl, um, I did all of that myself and um, created all of that. So that is all of my envelopes of what we're going to be saving for. I do have a few other, sorry I was fidgeting with my nail polish. I do have a few other envelopes that aren't seen. They are currently packed away and those are um i can go over those once we get moved and i can utilize those but they're not going to be utilized right now so that's why they're not in any of my binders so once we get moved and everything we might bring those ones out but for now um the ones that you saw are currently the ones that we're going to be stuffing for it is a total of 30 let's see 38 envelopes and um it is quite a bit to be stuffing for but we have a lot of goals and we have a lot of things that we want to get done this year and then like my savings challenges once i get all of those done then i'm going to use those to pay off other things that we have um personally wise like on our credit that we want to pay off um that isn't listed but i can definitely go over all of our debt like there will be more videos coming up that'll go over like i said our upcoming video is going to be on budgeting um so those are kind of the videos that are coming up so if you're interested in any of that if you like this video you like the content definitely give me a like subscribe hit that little bell icon and you'll be notified of when 
my videos go posted. But I hope that y'all enjoyed this video and stay tuned for more content and more awesome, you know, fun times with budgeting. Y'all take care. Bye.